The Rebel Casino in Atlantic City, New Jersey provided the setting for Bellator 108, which saw the debut of one of the highest profile signings in the promotion's history. Quinton Rampage Jackson took his first walk down victory lane in a main event matchup against fellow UFC alum Joey Beltran. Sorry TNA fans, the main event mafia was nowhere to be found as this one got underway. Beltran got on his bike early on and looked to get in and out with some crisp boxing combinations. That was mistake number one, trying to stand and bang with one of the most legendary knockout artists in the history of the sport. Jackson slip punches beautifully, stormed inside and made a statement. Counter knee from Joey Bell. The emphatic KO spoke volumes, but this is Rampage Jackson we're talking about here, and he wasn't just about to let his hands do all the talking. Rampage, man, give me this mic. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Give me this mic. I'm so excited. I'm back. Y'all gonna see more knockouts. More people will get messed up. Everybody in my weight class better be shaking in their boots. The co-main events on all-Russian matchup for the Bellator heavyweight title. Six-foot-six defending champ Alexander Volkov would have his hands full with Vitaly Minikov, who is an absolute wrecking machine, riding a six-fight KO streak heading into the bout. Minikov spent some time on top early after reversing position, but these guys came to trade bombs, and the champ got his chin tested quickly. Minikov absolutely plowed through the champion to remain undefeated at 13-0. He's only gone to decision once in those 13 wins. The guy is an absolute killer. He'll now face tournament winner Czech Congo in his first title defense. Marcos Galvo was also on the card trying to make his case for another bantamweight title shot as he took on American submission specialist Tom McKenna. Galvo tried to beat McKenna at his own game throughout the first, absolutely dominating on the ground and working for multiple submissions. When he couldn't secure the tap out, he'd simply use his jiu-jitsu to set up a major beatdown, raining shots from the top en route to the stoppage win. The Nova Uniao product scores his fourth career knockout and was oozing confidence after the fight. Berato, I don't forget my dream. I have big dream here. I walk before the belt, just about my belt. I come back more strong. The featherweight tournament also came to a close on the card as Patricio Pitbull squared off with Justin Wilcox in the finals. Pitbull made sure to make every shot count as he caught Wilcox coming in and never really looked back. Wilcox was throwing some big looping shots, but Pitbull's timing was pinpoint on the night. He swarmed in with punches to secure his third win in a two-month span. Wilcox is a tough out, but Pitbull is a finisher, notching his 16th stoppage in 21 career wins. He takes home the 100 grand tournament purse along with a future title shot.